like I'm so happy just me and why would I ever want to be heartbroken? <laughs> is it harder for you to date now that everyone in the world knows your name? <laughs> is it, does that make it harder or easier? More fun? It's kind of a hard test because we really, everyone in the world only started to know our names when the when there was a pandemic too. True. And so we haven't really been out that much. Um, <laughs> But, um, but yeah, but I've also kind of, um, I've really gotten into this like amazing relationship with myself that I don't know that I ever want. I think I might never want to be in a relationship again because these guys, these guys here make me really happy. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, I saw them right away. I love them. Croissant. I just like, I'm so happy just, me and why would I ever want to be heartbroken? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. Is that something that you came to recently or is it something that you've kind of known since your last breakup or is it? I mean, I think, I think people go through, you know, you grow and go through relationships. And I think, I think what's kind of great about heartbreak and breakups and stuff like that is I can see now in any of those the amount of therapy I invested in after that changed me into the person I am today was all worth it. You had said in another interview that your dad had trouble accepting your past relationship. Do you have advice for someone who's going through that with their own parents right now? I think what's really great about Pride Month and shows like Schitt's Creek is to me, visibility is everything. Um, it's kind of uh, Carson, Carson Cressley, who he was like the first guy on Queer Art, yeah. Um, he told me this, he was telling me this story once that, you know, how everybody, there's always somebody who paves the way to make somebody else's path a little easier. The power of coming out is that then if you become human and once you know somebody, you're like, oh, well, I know Carson and he's a great guy. Why shouldn't he be able to adopt kids? Why would he be fired from his job? And when it becomes human to human, he also said this other thing that I think is so great. It's really hard to be intolerant close up. And mm -hmm. so I think the more there is visibility like that and the more it's normalized, I mean, even with my dad and people, like when you know somebody, you then you see the human in them and, and right. you, you see anything else. <laughs> I 1000% agree with you. Yeah. That's That's a good way to put it.